<clears throat> Alright folks, let's focus in, in here on uh, Legion Games Demiansk Shield, the Frozen Fortress. It's a battle set in 42, designed by Vance von Boris. And let's uh, do a quick shrink rip and have a look. Just arrived today. Uh, once again, uh, Legion Games and Revolution Games are uh, getting games to me faster than Nuts Publishing and GMT. Not sure what's going on or those two other companies. Everybody I know has their copies of titles that uh, I don't have yet, and it's making me sad. So, we're going to take joy and pleasure in opening this. I've been uh, very curious about this game. Uh, I've had a chance to have a quick look at the rules, and it's not a typical Vance von Boris title either. Uh, he tends to have an inordinate amount of die rolling uh, to, before you get to the actual combat. And this does not do that. It's a more simplified system than usually occurs. So let's see what we got here. Okay. A small D6 and some baggies. Black and white rule book. Which I've already had a look at. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward sequence of play. Nothing, nothing here that you're going to read and go, oh my gosh. But... Uh, we will talk more about the rules in a <clears throat> separate video when I actually get to playing this. The rules are well laid out and it's a pretty straightforward exercise in uh, gameplay. Uh, as a buddy of mine, Pete, mentioned, uh, interestingly, ooh, wow, that's kind of thin. Uh, uh, mentioned in interestingly, uh, this is one of those few battles where there's not a lot of panzers. Uh, well, in fact, I don't think there are any. You know, there's some armored cars. That's it uh, in this game. So it's a pretty much a full-on infantry battle for both sides. These are well. You know, I wasn't going to do compare and contrast, but. Let me see. Yeah. I guess they're about the same thickness as Revolution games. In fact, they're probably a little bit thicker than the Revolution games uh, title. But these are not the typical counters that would come from uh, Legion games. These are a little differently done. I'm just trying to see here if uh, it's sticker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are printed differently. Maybe they changed their printer. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's see. You know, I like the size of the counters, though. Nice uh, 5 8 size. Let's check the map out. Full color charts. Let's check those out first, and we'll get to the map. Oh, there's a bunch of charts in here. This is the stuff I haven't really seen. This is really well laid out on nice cardstock. Here's your combat results tables, support charts. Victory points and then uh, scenario charts. That's what all these are. Scenarios one and three, two. Nice little bit of artwork on the side there. Okay, that's cool. I like I like setup charts actually. It sometimes helps get uh, the game cranking along a little bit faster instead of messing around looking for looking for where things go. So let's take a look at this map. <clears throat> You know, really, uh, I, I don't know what's going on, and this is fine, right? I, I like the artwork on this map. Uh, I just want to make an observation about this is something that Compass Games is, suffers from. This, this game hasn't been unfolded yet, and it's already got, uh, you know, the ink, the way it's either sprayed on or layered on here, uh, it cracks. It's not being absorbed into the paper, and it's a pretty, it's a high gloss, Pretty lightweight type of paper. I'd say it's in the vein of Compass Games maps, which I'm not overly impressed with. Uh, it's not the thicker, heavy weight, more porous and more absorbent, ink absorbent uh, stuff. It's almost like it's a paper. It's almost like it's a, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say a sticker because it's not a sticker, but you can see with the creases how it's, it's worn, it's worn and, the, and the, the ink's cracking on the crease already. Not on all the not on all the creases, just that primary one there by the looks of it. Hey, but look, a pretty map. That's nice. Uh, 
got your uh, tracks here for on dates, VPs, aircraft, illumin illuminated units. Uh, uh, let's see what's on the other part here. I'm trying to reach around the camera. I've got this goofy camera stand. There's Star Staraya Rusa over there. Okay, VP markings. Uh, I think on on the uh, on the map. Beautiful map. Gorgeous artwork. A little, little, little bit light and fluffy, but uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, just, I'm not sure how much I paid for this. I'd have to look at the, at the, at the uh, maybe it's the size of the print run that made this more expensive. I feel like this was, I want to say this was 50 bucks, but it may not have been. And uh, for 50 bucks, I'm, I'm, depending on the print run, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little jaded with these, these bad boys. These are a little thinner than I expect from Legion Games. Uh, compared to some of the other titles that have come out, but I bet you that's a function of the print run. So, nevertheless, here it is. Not going to stop me from playing this bad boy. I uh, like the setup cards. Got lots of good artwork and good clear rules so far anyway, I, as I recall from my reading. So I will be looking forward to getting this to the table just as soon as I can, along with the busy and other things that I'm trying to get to the table. And we'll talk about that in a different post, different video, because uh, I need to make some choices about some gameplay. Talk to you soon, folks.